This, mo <clears throat> this moderate growth and redevelopment alternative introduces themes of growth within a walkable and bikeable distance to retail, jobs, services, and recreation. It accommodates all forms of residential density as well as accessory dwelling units in key areas throughout the community. This alternative distinguishes itself from the other two alternatives by focusing development primarily on vacant lots and underdeveloped parcels. This alternative makes the following growth assumptions. It capitalizes on existing vacant lots and underdeveloped parcels for residential infill and ADUs. It also adds more park spaces within walking distance of residential and commercial areas, establishes a full service grocery store, develops complete streets that improve access to commercial amenities and services for all users, and limits new developments to three stories maximum to maintain Oceano's small town character. This alternative is highlighted by infill and redevelopment growth of the Pier Avenue, industrial, downtown, and southern neighborhoods. In the Pier Avenue neighborhood, there are numerous opportunities for additional parking and commercial spaces in the form of infill development. In the industrial neighborhood, along the west side of Highway 1, there is space for redevelopment in the form of medium and high density residential, mixed use commercial, and ample green space. This neighborhood is the primary focus of redevelopment in this alternative. In the downtown neighborhood, there are opportunities for increased commercial and residential options. In the central neighborhood, there are multiple opportunities for ADUs, as shown by the pink parcels on the map, as well as high density apartment complexes. In the southern neighborhood, there is room to establish a full service grocery store and other commercial amenities, as well as open space to serve the nearby proposed and existing residential neighborhoods. In the westernmost part of Oceano, the Strand neighborhood has potential for infill residential development in the form of low density, single family housing locations shown in yellow. In the north end of the industrial neighborhood, we suggest developing a combination of low density housing shown in yellow and medium density housing shown in orange on the existing vacant lots. In the mid-industrial neighborhood, as well as in downtown, we suggest additional medium density housing, as well as medium density mixed use developments in the brown and striped coloring to provide housing and spur economic development. As we move to the eastern side of Oceano, the central neighborhood is prime for ADU development because of the numerous lots with sufficient space to build additional units, seen on the map in pink. Infill residential development is also recommended on the vacant lots in the central neighborhood in the form of low density, single family housing to match the existing homes. Lastly, we propose a high density residential development at the southern edge of the central neighborhood to accommodate the future growth and housing needs of Oceana. <clears throat> for commercial growth, we recommend a variety of development types to provide space for businesses as well as additional housing space for the community. In this concept, Pier Avenue has space for commercial development and growth on all existing vacant lots, while the industrial neighborhood can accommodate high-density residential mixed-use developments. The downtown neighborhood can accommodate more commercial, medium-density, and residential mixed-use development. And the south neighborhood has room for a full-service grocery store. The moderate growth option strives to improve circulation opportunities through increased multi-use and dedicated bicycle and pedestrian paths, traffic calming measures such as a roundabout and crosswalks, and complete streets with additional bus stops in areas that are lacking. Implementation of these circulation opportunities is expected to increase connectivity for bicyclists, pedestrians, and vehicles. This alternative proposes a network of complete streets, shown in green, that connects streets both within the community and to neighboring communities. At Pier Avenue, roadway space can be repurposed as a complete street with a parking structure that supplies necessary parking for added growth. In the industrial neighborhood, there's greater focus on pedestrian-only corridors, shown in dashed orange, that allow people to walk between the housing and open space freely and comfortably. This alternative also proposes a walking and biking trail, shown in the dashed blue line, 
that connects the industrial neighborhood with the existing residential housing to the south. This proposed trail will take advantage of surrounding land uses, the pedestrian corridors and complete streets, and the parks and open space to create a more cohesive circulation system centered around walking and biking. And finally, in order to connect the industrial and downtown neighborhoods for pedestrians and cyclists, we propose traffic calming measures such as pedestrian crossings and lightings that allow users to cross Highway 1 safely. Currently, Oceano has seven bus stops, shown in black, that follow the routes in solid pink. The existing stops do not serve the Pier Avenue neighborhood at all, or the middlemost section of the central neighborhood. Three additional stops are proposed at these two locations. In Pier Avenue, we propose two additional stops, shown in red, and an extension of the existing route, shown in dash pink. These two stops allow riders access to the commercial amenities along Pier Avenue, as well as to the dunes. In the central neighborhood, we propose one additional stop, shown here in red. This would provide nearby residents increased transit access that was not previously available. The four key growth areas under the moderate growth and redevelopment alternative are circled in red. Pier Avenue, the industrial neighborhood, downtown, and the southern neighborhood. The first key growth area is Pier Avenue. Currently, there are a lot of underutilized vacant spaces on Pier Avenue that can be filled with commercial amenities. In addition, the roadway space can be repurposed as a complete street to accommodate pedestrians and cyclists. This alternative proposes the development of a parking structure on the vacant lots northwest of the Pier and Lakeside Avenue intersection, which accommodates for the potential loss of street parking. Repurposing Pier Avenue into a vibrant commercial corridor, accessible by all modes, can provide essential connections between the coastal and inland areas for the community. In the industrial neighborhood, we suggest redevelopment and infill in the form of commercial uses, medium and high density housing, and mixed use residential. This area joins residential living with commercial options and open space, allowing residents to be close to restaurants, stores, and outdoor activities. Oceano's existing downtown area is home to multiple vacant lots that can be developed into new commercial spaces and mixed use residential units. These new developments can help create a distinct downtown with multiple commercial options accessible to residents and visitors. And in the southern neighborhood, we identified an opportunity for a full service grocery store, as well as additional open park space. This area promotes public health by providing healthy food options and ample outdoor space for recreation. We also propose pedestrian crossings at key intersections along Highway 1 that allow residents to the north to access these amenities. To recap, the redevelopment and moderate growth alternatives propose six major outcomes. Infill development for housing and commercial growth, increased density for housing, commercial, and mixed use, redevelopment in the industrial neighborhood, additional accessory dwelling units in the central neighborhood, improved sidewalks and bicycle path connectivity, and increased park and open space. <laughs>